Today we're going to talk a little bit about maintenance welding. It's a lot different than fabrication welding. You know, when you're welding on something dirty out in the field, something where downtime and labor is really important, um, that's different than welding in a factory where things are mostly clean and flat. Uh, and, and if you're doing maintenance welding, you should be using a wire that's made for that kind of work. That's what I'd suggest. And the reason is general purpose welding products like E70S6 or 3 or, you know, the basic stuff that you see around was never made for welding on something that's cruddy that you can't clean in a bad environment. It was made for a clean environment in a factory. So today we're going to talk a little bit about how you weld on something dirty and make it hold with a wire that is stronger, more ductile, and much easier to use called Polaris Maximum Shield. Well, today we're going to weld on this old tongue that came off a trailer. It's bent and was going to be replaced. But let's say, for instance, that you were welding on this trailer and you weren't cutting this tongue off. You had to weld something to it or it was broken. You couldn't clean it quite like you might like to and you needed to uh, weld it up anyway. Well, a standard wire is probably not going to give you the kind of result that you want on something like this. You're going to need something better. And that something better is Polaris Maximum Shield. Well, you can see why they cut this thing off. The, the weld uh, that they was made to make this thing is cracked. So let's assume that we couldn't get in here and clean this up. We had to weld it the way it was. This is a perfect application for Polaris Maximum Shield. So let's try it once. So let's take a look. Looks pretty good. Well, that weld went in beautifully. Tied into the base metal, no pinholes. Ran really easily. And most importantly, you know, I didn't have to fight it to make it work. It just ran in and made my job easier. And isn't that really what you want when you're, when you're welding on something that you can't quite get as clean as you'd like or isn't it as easy a position to get to as you might like? You want your wire to help you out a little bit. That's what this stuff does.